Lol, I'm not good at this advertising streams thing. <laughs> I will not improve. We are back in the C block. Um, it is Sunday. I am not looking forward to another week of work before I get another weekend, but... Uh, whatever. Oh dear, this is still backed up. Ah, oh, because you've got nowhere to go with your invar, I see. So we need to get an invar chest sooner than later. Which kind of implicits a bronze chest, which we already have. Good. And then invar's just going to be one further out than that bronzy chest. Um, I need underground palps. So, yeah, just got back from a restaurant. I had a Long Island iced tea and got a little dunk. A little drunk. Perhaps. And now I'm back home with um, a coffee and some chocolate. Sip coffee. And I need to weave some invar through these metals, it seems. I don't know, is there... It's like underground, underground, underground. And then it just goes overground for like one? Yeah, so underground, 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 overground. And... Oh, that doesn't line up. Okay, I guess we just get to wing it then. Lol. Lameo. Oops, that's backwards. Conveyor weave technologies. Yes, I'm very aware I could have done this slightly simpler. However, have you considered that I like the way conveyor weaving looks? Anywho, um, I was like, I feel like playing some Factorio tonight. Oh, but I would need to stream to do that. Okay, I guess I'm streaming, so... Enjoy the bonus stream. Hopefully my mana bar has filled up enough since yesterday for me to run a commentary at all. Which is a bit of a maybe, frankly. Thank you, Chill Hop, for taking some of the pressure off by just being a nice vibe to have going. Uh, this is called Heavy Metal Processing because, of course, we are going to be working on um, the metal processing a bit. That is the primary point of stuff needing doing at the moment. Yes, yes. And you output to there from there. I have finished off Terry Pratchett's Guards Guards today. Did you know that Terry Pratchett is a good author? Shocking, I know. I didn't I think that Vimes deserved um, to get the girl at the end because there's still an absolute wreck of a human being. I do suppose he saved her life though. Oh baby, I was going to look into getting the next science back now that I had all the stuff that I wanted. Yep. Oh my god, I can just research construct logistics robots. Good evening, spicy neon goose. I am... It is Sunday evening here. You're getting the Sunday evening quality, Barry. Let me just sit up a bit. There we go. However, I want to play Factorio, so that means working your way through those audiobooks. Oh, um, where are you at? To? My family has a vast collection of every single paperback, so I just, um guiltlessly downloaded a bunch of mobies and I've put them on my Kindle. You know, they'd probably make really good audiobooks, wouldn't they? Hmm, maybe I should try that. Let's have coffee. <sighs> Something to do while I'm working.
Okay, electronics, green science. I remember it being... Yeah, there we go, solar energy too. We don't need too much, actually. Let's start with cooling solutions. Hopefully I don't need the strand casting to make this work. I'd be grumpy if I had to redesign this again immediately. Yeah, I can imagine that would be pretty dang good. Especially since he's got a large body of work. I remember hearing once that he only, um... What was it? Um... He only wrote something like 500 words a day, but he was very consistent. I might be getting him confused with... Um, some other famous author. It certainly sounds very apocryphal. Mm, look at the factorio wiggle. The, the factorio? The factory. That's irking me. Yeah, that feels better. And then I can just um, pull, drop off all this crushed root right there and let it sort itself out. Okay, are we now processing a little bit of nickel ore? Just a little bit? It just rubs you the right way very much, so... Not a controversial opinion. Not enough mineral sludge? Oh my god, what? We're doing fine on slag slurry. Is it really just... These girls not working hard enough. That's kind of shocking. We've had enough slag slurry for ages. How's the power doing it if that's the case? Eh, it's doing fine. I mean, I know that that's a theoretical figure that's not entirely supported by, um the throughput of charcoal, but it looks like it, we could probably manage to power all that if we needed to. Ugh, look at these inefficient belts, built by a worse past version of me who didn't know what she was doing. Yeah, um, I was reading out bits and pieces to my mum as I went, and she was enjoying them very much, also being a fan of his work. Anywho, Terry Pratchett is a good writer, is not an <laughs> original topic. Um, unfortunately, I probably can't be entertaining and talk about it too much. What's going on with this pipe? Who's responsible for this? This pipe sucks. And yet, it's surprisingly hard to meaningfully improve. <sighs> I mean, I guess I could just chuck down an underground pipe from like there to there. Or something, but is that really that much of an improvement? No, not really. Now, um... Oh my goodness, we suddenly have a very large number of induction furnaces. Oh my god, you make brass. I didn't realize we were making brass yet. All we are missing is solder, I think, in terms of the weird things. Do I have an induction furnace laying around? No, but I can. Do I have a lamp laying around? No, I do not. Let's make a lamp to be laying around so I can see what's going on down here. Or maybe two or three. Okay, solder, which I think is 
pretty straightforward. It will end in an induction furnace one way or the other. I've lost the induction furnace, there it is. Yup, it's just lead and tin ingots. That's... Yep, that's pretty simple for us. Um, what is the point of the splitter? No, really, what does this thing even... Oh, I was just... Oh, it sorts out the lead that comes through here. Okay, that's the lead. So then I should probably have another splitter. And I should possibly consider going like this. Eh, not enough. Belps, please. Um, no, not into that. That's fine. What's up is we need a... Belp in here. Which will be fed like this. <laughs> that is beautiful, actually. I quite like the way that looks a lot. Yo, drop there and pick up from there, girly. Now, why aren't we getting any lead ore coming through? Aside from the... Oh, it's because it comes from this thing, which is backed up with nickel. Okay. Can I do anything about it being backed up with nickel? Um, I can sort out that iron situation that I said I was going to sort out a long time ago. Which needs sapphirite, jevolite, and mineral catalyst. Which, yeah, is going to involve picking this up and moving it further down. Sip coffee. Ah, Stoth Jovelite Love here. Acceptable. I need to move this girl further down though. And she is a tricky girl. But what you mean this is complicated enough that I'm kind of not looking forward to it. Oh well, no time like the present. Russia, you now go in line with that thing. You make Ferris Mix because we get so much iron out of Ferris Mix, it's delicious. Is that going to work? No. It would be easier to do this. That'll do. Um, you girl pick up there and drop there. And this girl... Picks up there and drops there. I love girls.
There we go, we are now crushing large amounts of ferrous mix. This is ideal for reasons. Yeah, nah, you drop off there and pick up there, girl. That's a bit better. Please remove the rubite from me immediately. Wow, that is, um, that is sure producing. Now. Now, 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 now. The next step is to sort out this nightmare of stuff. Is crushed sapphirite, crushed gibbolite, and mineral catalyst. <laughs> hey, Pastberry, what were you planning here? This is not a good system. I need a land in here. I can't see what I'm looking at with my eyeballs. There we go. Wow, we can now see, kind of. A little bit. Mineral catalyst going up here. You pick up there and drop there. Yeah. The, uh most sensible arrangement I can think of is this, which is still not perfect, but it's at least not terrible. And I need to get Jevalite over there as well, which is going to be awkward because the Jevalite conveyor belt currently immediately smashes into the Rubite conveyor belt. Also, we are not producing enough Jevalite just to make things extra tricky saucy. We are going to need to move all of this down and add another chip light production, aren't we? Of course we are. Sip coffee. I like saying chip light. It has... It is profoundly fun to say, honestly. Okay. The short answer to this is that I'm going to need to bump this up and add one of these. Like this. That's going to have to do. That's legitimately about it in terms of options, in fact. Except I do, in fact, totally need to wiggle this over. Okay. That's doable, if awkward. From now, this girl goes underground. Well, this girl goes like this. That doesn't help at all, because <laughs> now we need that there. Dang it. Um, that's fine. We can do it one further, even. This is a functional requirement. Oh, it's so bad. There we go. That actually looks less terrible than I was worried it might. I mean, it doesn't look good, but... Also, there's this pipe in the way. Get out of the way, pipe. Nobody likes you. I'm sorry, pipe. I didn't mean it. You're actually... <sighs> pipe. 
I love you. I was just trying to hurt you earlier because I didn't want you to um, realize you could have anyone you wanted. Why am I crying in real life while I profess my love to the pipe? Let's wind it back a little bit, Barry. No more getting emotional about pipe. Alright, oh, yes. This was um, going to be like this. Actually, I don't need that anymore. Lol. But I do need to do this. And then I'm going to need to craft some more. And then, skidoosh, skedaddle, skedazzle, skedam, we will have... Pipe. I can totally move that further up and save some space, can't I? Uh, of course I can. Pipe is deserving of love. A stone pipe in particular, it's just so serviceable and cheap. It's one of the few things in C Block that's actually simple than vanilla... Ben 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 Simpler than Vanilla Factorio. Do I not have Mineral Catalyst coming up? I do, it's just getting only this far. Sorry, I turned into Porky Pig for a second there. Activate the Mineral Catalyst. Okay, yeah. Um, oops. Nope. But... Yes. Still no. There we go. Building things compact like that is a habit I'm in because it frequently highlights additional opportunities for improving designs. It's not an inherent good, but it does um, make other goods easier. Hey, we've got iron ore happening again. Yay! Now I need an iron ore processor. Yay, we can make solar panels too for slightly simpler power. If we want it but it's probably not space efficient at this point compared to upgrading our existing setup. Hello? Oh, I'm in the way. You make processed iron. Girl, go. Go. Go, go girl. Go. Look at how much more iron we're finally making than magnesium. We've been making magnesium in huge quantities for too long. Sip coffee. But now I can finally satiate our steel production requirements. And our invar production requirements. Legitimately, this pleases me a lot. And maybe one day I can even empty out the existing stock huge stocks of manganese we have. Sorry, did I say magnesium earlier? I meant manganese. How could I confuse such two completely different things? Oh, look at that glorious flow of iron ingots. Genuinely, genuinely, this is really good. Not enough jivalite, as predicted. I'm really not looking forward to tooling these all down one more step. That's actually going to suck. Okay, and we are still not making enough mineral sludge. We'll start with the mineral sludge. So 
since that's probably affecting our Javelite production as well. Ah, uh, we're just feeding enough here. Like, just, just. But our mineral catalyst stuff is underproducing for lack of goop. Okay, I'm pretty sure my existing design is about as good as it's going to work yet, actually. Filtration unit. Where on earth do I find a filtration unit? No, really, where does a filtration unit live? <laughs> Please help. Oh, there it is. You make slurry. Perfect. Um, that's the sort of pure request water out. Oh shoot. That actually does need to be undergrounded. <laughs> Even just that little bit needs to be undergrounded. There we go. How am I hooking this up power wise? A really, really awkward arrangement. Okay, that goes there. These go there. I'm not figuring out a new way. This existing system is fine. You go there, and you go there. <laughs> and... Uh, why are all the rest of these somehow cabled up to external stuff, but this one isn't? Oh, normally that gets underground a little sooner. Both sides get underground a bit sooner, if that makes sense. That's just saving about a uh, pipe and making it a bit easier to navigate. Okay, but how is that one hooked up to that? Now that one's in the middle, and then this one is not in the middle for some reason. There. Problem solved. So it's in the wrong spot. So I have a crafty girl. I have a level 2, but level 1 will actually be fine here. Because these girls craft so slow. Sorry, craft so infrequently. Oh god. Oh god, I'm not looking forward to sorting all of this out. This is actually gonna suck. You charcoal up filters, girly. And I normally put like five in. And then I need one, two, three, four, five. There we go, I think. I may as well set up the next filtration unit right now, actually. If I have enough basic circuits to afford it, which I don't, let's sort that out. Hello, circuits? 
just run past the enormous battery of production that we've got. That's the thing of beauty of a sort. Hi Koisu, good evening. We are working mostly on our metal refining, hence the stream title. Um, I've just installed this new iron machine, but we don't have enough javelite, so I'm going back to the source and I'm improving um, our mineral sludge production and and many things, basically. Hydrate? Okay. I have finished off my coffee, so I am onto water now. Sippy water. Where does that filtration unit land? There. Hey, it's running. Cool. Um, let's hook up the other girl as well. Well, we are here. I love hooking up girls. There we go. She is running. They're all running. They're running as fast as they can, and it won't be enough. Mm, that's a pity. I hope you can achieve your goal soon. How are we doing on the mineral sludge? Still not enough? Damn. Really? Oh, this is, I think, starting to fill up. Yeah. You're a bitch and you're never going to amount to anything. Look at what I've done. You think you can do this? Stay in your tide pool and shrink. Hmm. I don't even have a use for Envy yet. It's kind of nice to be ahead of what we need in terms of producing metals. I'm sure they'll all be relevant immediately, though. I'm not inclined to assume that C block's going to be convenient at any point. Good luck, Koisu. Mm, hold on, I'm holding Slag again, Ty. Get out of here, Slag. I can't believe I got like 70% of the way through setting up a second manganese chemical furnace. And then just stopped. I think we're burning that off over time. We need that increased Jevolite production, unfortunately. <laughs> That's going to mean retooling this again. Ah! 
and I never figured out what I wanted to do with geodes. Well, I wanted to do something, I just can't remember what it was. Okay, Urea and Formaldehyde, which we need for resin, which I think we need for something that I care about. R robots? Circuits? Urea is ammonia and carbon dioxide. Oh, that's not too bad. I'm pretty sure we can just like make ammonia out of something pretty simple. Oh, we can make ammonia out of the blue algae, that was it. Yeah, that's easy. Good evening, Legate Lanius. I assume you're here from Fallout for some reason. Good evening, yo. We are playing Factorio tonight. For a, uh... <laughs> I've been alternating Factorio and Fallout for a little while now. I don't have the patience to stick with any video game long term, but um, these two have got me in their grip at the moment. Welcome back, Zach. So, I've just been um, adding up more iron production. Thank you, Zach is cool. I am crazy flattered that I've been recommended. Alien Isolation. Uh, I do not have the confidence to play that. I have a psychological thing about being hunted and Alien Isolation is like the absolute worst thing for um, freaking me out. Yeah, I could... <laughs> I got that. Okay, let's get started on this. This is gonna suck. I need to just rip all this apart. You make Jivalite now. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, League. Nope, that would um, set me off. I'm. I don't think of myself as a particularly fearful person, but I am set off by um, being in the dark on my own, being hunted. Legatus Lanius. I have never done a um, a Legion run. I've got the. Um, Kill Volpe's on site instinct. I'm. I hope you understand. Or Crusher. Good evening, Savixes. It is pleasant to see you. Um. Nope. <laughs> nope. I'm not going to play it. I am not going to play it. Like, I know, I said I'm not going to play Subnautica, and then I played Subnautica for stream and I had a bad time. I am NOT playing Alien Isolation. No, definitely not. The other thing is that, um, uh, New Vegas was one of the games where I realized that I liked playing female characters. And if you're a female character and you play in the Legion, then you're not allowed into the pit fighting. <laughs> and you basically can't progress in the Legion. And I'm not willing to go back on that. Um, no, sorry, you're a rubite or crushing. There we go. Who 
Who came up with this primitive system? I could design a better system easily. Answer, I did, back before I knew what I was doing. Actually, let's start on that better system immediately. Pick up there, drop there. Yeah, I think I remember hearing about that not too long ago. No witness where if you kill a group of people quick enough the reacts to the faction death. <laughs> Um, there is a thing you can do, which is, um, of course, when you get the Platinum Chip, it resets your reputation with all the factions. So, you can kill whoever you want in both the NCR and the Legion, and then you get the Platinum Chip. And, in fact, you can go to the end of Lonesome Road, and literally nuke the Long 38, and, um, uh, whatever the Caesar's equivalent is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and then you get the platinum chip, and they're like, uh, you know, we can, we forgive and forget. <laughs> uh, doing that gets you max reputation with the Brotherhood. Perfect. I've always wanted to do. Um, I was talking about this previous stream. That was one of the steps. Um, I was talking about my perfect New Vegas run, in which you complete every challenge. The hardest challenge to complete, I have tested this, is um, the one for flubbing speech checks, because you need to basically run around and start every quest in the game without finishing ev anything, with like the minimum stats possible in order to get it. Worst challenge. So, like, if I streamed this, that would be the start. And the second thing is you need to start with Int 9 and then run straight to Vegas and get the, um, like, down the Cazador lane. Dodge the Cazadors. Or you can run down the Deathclaw lane and dodge the Deathclaws. Um, and get the Int implant before you level up twice. Um, because the first time you get 10 stat points and the second time you get 9. Um, due, due to rounding errors. in order to ensure that you get the maximum number of stat points. And then, when you start um, Honest Hearts, you need to re-roll until you get the max RNG number of um, random stat books in that. And of course, you need to um, nuke both the NCR and Legion before you start the main story quest in earnest in, <laughs> in um, New Vegas. And finally, you need to pickpocket um, NCR dog tags for Legion rep. And I don't think you can pickpocket Legionnaires for <laughs> NCR rep, unfortunately, for some reason. Strange that. And that's how you, you finish the game. Loved by everyone. Maximum progress. Um, maximum stats. All challenges complete. And then you, like, kill Mr. House and wildcard it or something, I don't know. I care about this so much. <laughs> Wrong button. <laughs> Yo, thank you for the bits. Okay, you good you have a very good night. I hope you sleep well. Because you paid me money. I would actually be hoping you slept well anyway. But now I very much hope you sleep well. Yes, bits. I'm gonna be honest. Every time I hear bits, I think about My Little Pony because they, and and the one that everyone went crazy for, yes, including me. Um, the currency was called bits, which is super weird because bits are what like horses bite when they're pulling stuff. I don't understand it. Mysterious, mysterious. Do I need this much rubite? Yes, probably. I don't know, maybe we'll just tone down the rubite production for a minute here. Colouring a picture of Howard Duck, very good. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's add the extra crystallizer on the bottom and start from the bottom up, actually. That might be a bit easier. Or I could actually invest in those construction robots I always talked about making. No, I'd need power arm as well. It would need <clears throat> modular armor, 30 advanced circuits, and 50 steel plates. That's pretty doable, actually. And a steel uh, advanced circuit just needs. Um, Four transistors, an advanced circuit substrate, and a, sur a transistor is just a circuit. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to begin this. Uh, stretch and hydrate. Okay. Ah, that was a good stretch. Mm. And sippy water. Are you setting prizes for me, Viley? <laughs> Phenolic board, which is made with wood board and resin. That's what I needed resin for. I am wagging my finger. As I mentioned, I finished off Guards Guards earlier by Terry Pratchett. One of the most dramatic moments in the book is, um... You will manage the autograph line. Hmm... Oh, we don't have enough software. Oh well, we probably have enough. I don't understand Factorio either. I was playing, um... Some last call BBS earlier. Actually, hold on one second, I'll just demonstrate this. Um, I have been playing a lot of Last Call BBS lately in my free time because it's just a smorgasbord of games. It's like the charcuterie of video games. If it loads a bit faster, this is the longest it's ever taken to load. Probably because it's fighting for hard drive. And processor, given the fact that I'm streaming. And VTubing. And playing Factorio. And um, I've got the music video open. Shark Utery. Hold on, let's just... My mouse cursor is lagging. <laughs> okay. Um, I've been playing lots of 20th Century Food Court, um, which I've shown off. I don't think I've shown it off before. Oh yeah, I think I showed it off briefly at the start of the ex Pepiga stream. Don't worry, I'll go, go back to Factory in a minute. I do like these graphics I've done here. Um, yes, I've made it decent progress. Um, what's a good demonstration of it? Um, this'll do. So, it's a game all about wiring stuff up. So this person's asking for a coke, so we need to carefully spray paint this one to look like a coke cup. I just finished researching something in Factory in the background. Um, it has music. You get the idea. And this is all stuff that I've wired up. Um, I was doing this level, and I realized at several times while playing it that I had no idea how this worked. I'd lost track. It makes coffee, so yes, you know. Okay, I'm not going to play Zactronics on stream, that's a bad idea. Back to Factorio. Oh dear, what did I just hit? The original hot pocket experience, you would pay money for that. 
Um, so the world of 20th century food court is like far in the future when they no longer need money and they're pretending to emulate the 20th, 20th century experience of going to a McDonald's and getting a burger. But of course they're in the future so that there's not people preparing the food, it needs to be done by robots. Why do I need advanced glass melting and casting for this? I can already make glass. Whatever. I don't even care about this. I guess it's part of silicon processing. The abrupt realization this could be much better. Lol. Oops. Whatever. We need to focus on the rubite. Getting the rubite. The rubite must flow. That's that's a little Dune Land joke for you. That's what they say in Dune Land. Also, who's responsible for this? This can be so much better. I very much enjoy saying who's responsible for this <laughs> while looking at my own factory. I think I know who was responsible for this, actually. This will do for now. Um, that that will actually be fine, surprisingly. The rubite will flow, and some future date I can wiggle this down and put it more closely in line, but not immediately. And honestly, I don't know if I actually want to bother with the rubite just yet. I was talking about adding another crystallizer and drawing it from the bottom, but maybe I want to try and get more robots before then. So much copper. Uh, not so much iron. We are good on copper, though. Are you still there working down? Yes you are, good. This pleases me. I want to be making more iron ingots than manganese. I want manganese to be the thing we don't have enough of. Okay. Let's look into what we need to do in order to get resin so we can make re Hold on, let's think about robots first. We need re advanced circuits to get robots because we can't we can't do this by hand. Okay, time to go get ammonia. Which I will be tagging on to our existing blue algae su suite. Okay, that was urea, but now how do I get formaldehyde? Anyone see formaldehyde? Form... Catalytic synthesis of formaldehyde. Formaldehyde. Is that it? Is it really only with green metal catalysts? And methanol gas. Why's it gotta be methanol? Isn't methanol the one that I use? 
And Green Mill Catalyst Road. Ah, what goes into a Green Mill Catalyst? Aluminium and silver. We are burning off the crude oil as predicted. Okay, was it seriously... I mean, the advantages that we're already producing... Methanol, but the disadvantages that we're already using it to make plastic. Grrr. Can't it have just been one of these many, many, many things that we're just burning off whenever we get it? Like, um... Ethane or butane. Now, time to pipe aluminium and silver back and forth across the factory. This is gonna suck. Yeah, um, more than anything else I think I've done in this factory, this next upcoming one's gonna suck. I don't think I'm gonna need to scale this ever. <sighs> Deep breath, Barry. You can do it. Why don't I move that chemical furnace down, actually, and put it in line with the thingy? I think that would be much more satisfying. Satisfying is a good reason to do things. Trust me, I'm an angel. weird manganese stuff. Oh yeah, because this one's a bad about its inputs, isn't it? Whatever, you're getting input to the t two from the top now. Deal with it. Please imagine me putting on like the deal with it shades when I say that. Wait, hold on. I can date myself. I can date this meme further. Hold on. Uh, come on, internet. That is not a PNG file that you just downloaded. I'm opening you with a text editor. That's a f scary ass script that you just downloaded. Nope, that was a bust. Google, please? Uh, they don't have type transparent available anymore. Why? Oh no, they have color transparent. Transparent isn't the color Google. Okay, is this actually a transparent one or are you just screwing with me?
you are in fact screwing with me. Ah, oh, here we go. This one's transparent. Okay. Time for a little behind the scenes peek. Beep. Boop. You're all extremely welcome. <laughs> I'll just keep looking off to the left a bit. Hold on one second. There we go. How's that look? <laughs> okay, where were we? my neck. Ah, oh, my aging bones. Oh no, it's clipped inside of me. No, nah, I'll just leave. I'll just hold my head perfectly like this. I like that I can look peek out on it over the glasses. I this is this is perfect actually. Ah, okay, where was I? Before I got distracted playing with props. <laughs> I'm sorry it's Sunday evening, I'm I'm not all here at the moment. You're getting like the budget discount version of me at the moment. Let's um, just move those. Oh god, I lost them. Where did they go? There they are. There we go. That'll do. Okay. <laughs> nope, I'm still finding this funny. I'm sorry, you all need to deal with my terrible sense of humor tonight. My view count is dropping by the second. Perfect. <clears throat> Where the frig was I? Um, I have retold this. Is that running? Um, that isn't inserting right. There we go. That'll do. Manganese levels continue to decrease over time due to big, huge iron production. And I was looking into how to make a green metal catalyst. I would consider using logistic drones for this because... Uh, my two options are shipping ammonia and silver to the far side of the factory or shipping metal catalysts back and forth. I think I prefer shipping metal catalysts back and forth because I suspect I'm going to need to add red metal catalysts at some point just to be awful. Ah, <laughs> oh, swagtacular. So, um, what's another, like, cringe-ass 2010s word? I can't see through these solid black shades at all, by the way. Also, I need to hold my head slightly to the left. <laughs> awesome source. Yeah. 
Oh god, I just- oh no. I just got sad. I realized that in 10 years people are gonna feel the same way about Poggers as we do about Awesome Source. I thought Poggers was eternal. Ah, oh, damn it. The wheels of time, they keep a turning. Okay, how am I gonna get this? I'm gonna need to add another layer to the top of this, aren't I? Uh, I guess I've kind of already got the extra um, spot up here. Although I was planning to use that for the um, charcoal pellets. So maybe I do want to add another one still. <laughs> that can be the metal catalyst return, actually. Because I'm going to need to add two. One for the metal catalyst and the other one for the metal catalyst return. Uh, die fish. At this point, if a fish gets in my way, it's the fish's fault. Pretty scucks, bro. Um, swag. Um. Come on, how come... It's like I've suppressed the memory of all of these. Th they're in there, I know. Hmm. What were we saying in high school when it, we wanted to... <sighs> something halfway between inflict psychic pain and compliment. The same way you'd use poggers these days. <sighs> There's gotta be more. Fo, are you there? You're an expert in this. The rubite's backed up already, just running off one. I think I will leave it like that, actually. It turns out one rubite production is Skucks Deluxe. Oh, baby. Hold on. Actually, if I just do a Google search for, like, Skucks synonyms, what, I, what will I get? I'll probably get swag. Urban Thesaurus. Is that a thing that exists? <laughs> uh, Skucks. Um, nah, none of these seem to really... <sighs> Quite... <sighs> Line up. Oh my god, Skux originally um, became a word in 1999. Uh, Skux is New Zealand slang for swag. Swag. Um, based is on the way out these days. Urban thesaurus for swag? Oh god, it's just a bunch of celebrities' names. This website sucks, I'm disappointed. Sorry to say that um, Urban Thesaurus is a disappointment at the moment. What is another word for swags? Plural for a cushion or piece of fabric fastened so as to hang in a drooping curve. Drapery, drapes, curtains, hangings. I don't think these are quite what I'm looking for. 9-11 wasn't pretty scucks, bro. <laughs> I give up. I'm not going to find 
any no skacks words. Okay, what do you need? You need solar 2, and I think that's the only thing I'm missing for the new labs and the new science. That'll be... that'll be pretty swagtacular. Maybe I should be doing something with this nitric wastewater, actually. Um, nitric wastewater purification gives me sodium nitrate. What do I do with sodium nitrate, perhaps? Oh good, I can make things that I can make just out of air from it. That's pretty useless. For me, at least. Uh-oh. Hmm, that's, um... Actually not too much of a problem. Um, that is getting all our silicon and silver, though. So, these crafters for the metal catalysts are going to have to go, like, down at the bottom here, I think. Maybe... Why is there a processor in the middle there? What? Oh, right, yeah, because, um because of the number of outputs of these sorters. That is a weird spot for a processor, Barry. Ah, what the hell do you think you're doing? How the frick does this zinc thing work? Are you just feeding the zinc in by hand? I guess I have been. Huh. Yeah, we might need to deal with what everything that's going on down here a little bit. This is a bit of a mess, as they say in French. And yet, and yet, I do not feel compelled to fix it just yet. I tell you what, let's just make a simple version of it for now. No, that ain't gonna cut it. Okay, okay, what can I do? Yeah, that checks out. Um, silicon ore goes in here for a minute. And then I'm gonna need... What do you produce? <sighs> Ten silicon. Silicon needs to go on a silicon chest for the moment. So, let's just filter silicon ore right. And then after that we have... Is that zinc? Zinc. Still more silicon. So much goddamn silicon. Here's my plan for dealing with the silicon. Step one, don't. Okay. Similarly, we need a splitter that sorts out zinc to the right. And heck, I can even actually wire this up properly now, I guess. Is 
properly ish, give or take. Probably help if I don't just slam belts together. There, Zank. Doing the Zank thing. Y yay? And then I just need to get the silver, which is the by the only thing that isn't being sorted here. Oh god, what do you sort out? You sort out silicon, really? Okay. That's fine. You can just sort of pipe into there. And that'll work. Probably. Cool. Do you feel like working? I'd, I'd feel pretty good if I made a functional zinc setup. I mean, it's not quite a functional zinc setup, but it's most of a functional zinc setup. And that comes for something, right? Okay, if I were to dump in a little bit of aluminium... Oh god, you're still backed up on nickel? Come on. Is it because of this chest? Is this chest getting priority whenever a little bit of a gap opens up? And that's rude if so. I'm producing steel as fast as I can. Wow, stereotype? Not enough stereotype? Really? What the frig, really? I mean, I'm glad, I guess. And our sapphire production is backed up? I mean, that one makes sense. Sort of. Uh, I'll just leave that as is. Um, sapphire basically turns into copper, while stereotype basically turns into iron. Eventually. Via complicated alchemical processes. And a little bit of toying with God's design. Just a little. I need to get those construction robots so bad. This is not a joke. I need them to live in this. Okay, these glasses are so distracting, I think I need to just sort of... There we go. <laughs> I could not focus with them on, honest. They were consuming me, I was becoming the glasses. Okay, where was I? Where the frig was I? Before I put on the glasses, I've just lost the past 20 minutes of memory. Alright. Oh, I was worrying about the stupid nickel blocking up everything. Come on, I'm making so much inva. More steel. How is this not backed up anyway? What if I just set a limit for now? Until we sort out this inva problem. Okay, is there also anything I can do to improve stereotype production? Oh god, really not easily, eh? I guess maybe I could just chuck a filter inserter here. Gosh knows I've got enough of the things. Uh, yeah, you pick up, um... Stereotite or... 
Where does that live? No, really, where the heck does Steratite ore live? It's not... There we go. Sapphirite. There we go. That's not even going to help, because it's not going to produce more as long as it's filled up with, um... Sapphirite, anyway. I really just need to... add more copper storage, I guess? I don't know, this is a weird problem. Oh no, I have too much copper. Like, too much, too much copper. I have so much copper that storing it is a problem. A nice problem to have, but a problem nonetheless. Generally speaking, I try to avoid building these sorts of dependencies, which is why I do have... Um, completely separate separate sapphirite production but it's so slow compared to the mineralized water production I just need to I guess I could maybe add in an ore silo that feels weird I th no I output directly into the processes anyway okay and then we continue on we make copper ingots we make bronze. I could add a chest for bronze, maybe. I don't think I've got one of the... It's full. <laughs> How do we have so much freaking copper? I haven't left it running that long. I need to decrease my copper efficiency somehow. Should I just, like, add another chest? Representing like long term storage. Do I have stack inserters? I do not. Okay. I have silos, but I think that they can only store, um, or which as covered is kind of awkward. I don't know, maybe let's give it a shot. See if a silo can store copper plates. Oh, that's a big girl. This is a too big girl almost. Cannot. What? No, what? What? Why do you refuse to be placed in the one position I want to place you? Is this just to make me suffer? God, it'll happily be placed literally anywhere else that it fits. And not here. Okay. Is there like... Oh, there is a gap there. That's kind of incredible in a really, really, really dumb way. There we go. Okay, silo time. Yes, we can pick up and drop into there. <laughs> yeah, that'll help. That'll keep us going on copper for a hot minute. Um, um, for chocolate. Um, no, no.
Actually, you know what? Let's put this in line with the um, conveyor belt. I'm sorry. Oh gosh, the arm picked it up, I see. Does me and the scientist combined not have enough storage space? I mean, that makes a kind of sense, but also a kind of frustration. One more chest coming right up. Okay, silo. Go there. You pick up from there and drop to there. You pick up from there and drop to there. Oh, I hope that's not a problem. I don't think it should be a problem. No, it looks like it won't be. Eat chocolate. Last chocolate. I will find a way to throw copper out if I fill this thing up. Oh. I just learned a new control. Control click to move all of an object at once. That is pretty useful, actually. I honestly didn't know that control. This far into fucking C block and I don't know how to move all of an object. Okay. We are in fact filling up on iron to my mild surprise. That's kind of nice in a way. Oh, I love that. I'm tempted to get the uh, to change it into a stereotype site, you know. But that's probably a bit unnecessary. I'm not storing ores, after all. Okay, that has eventually improved our production of. Um, sapphirite via a complicated chain reaction. Uh, girl? Okay, girl. That's not as much as I was hoping. We apparently burnt through all that pretty quick. Full spectrum atomic slab, heck yes. Okay, actually, is my mineralized water production system on? Since apparently I'm not making enough... Oh, but it does get, um... Uh, vented a lot sooner, doesn't it? To make sure that the slag production doesn't ever stop. I really, really wish I could tune an overflow to, to be like 90% instead of 80% so I could have one that's like the overflow and one that's the overflow overflow. Without having to literally chain them down here or something. Wow, 
where does my mineralized water still go down here? Ah, oh, can you accept the bottom there? Okay. That checks out, I guess. Okay, let's take a look at this. I'm not even sure if this is enough space to work to do what I'm planning to do. But I'm compelled to try. What I want to do is, um... Actually... No, wait, no, that's in line with the, um, the goop. I could maybe run it down the sulfur conveyor belt. This could easily support a, um... I need more iron. A belt as well. And then I could just chuck the... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Iron, iron. Iron! There we go. Here, I will show you what I am trying to envision with my brain. With my brain meats. With my overflow, overflow. I need to go to... This device. No. Is that mineralized water? That's mineralized water. This device. And remove it. And our mineralized water levels will begin rapidly climbing. research. That's going to freaking hurt to produce, isn't it? But that's okay, because I'm a smart girl with a plan. You see, if I go back to <laughs> here, where that was being used, we have mineralized water up the top here. And I can rewrite this to look like this. Isn't that perfect? Have you ever seen anything as perfect as that? That's not that's not good enough for me. Hold on. There we go. That's good enough for an angel, as they say. Nowhere, because... Um, angels are a secret. Oh frick, how come it's got to be like exactly that? Okay. We do in fact need a second belt. the undergrounded belt, and then we need another undergrounded belt, um, like that, and some more pipe, and you will see, the device is near to completion. No more overflow valve there. For the overflow valve instead, it goes here. The mineralized water level is quite high. And the side fluctuates intensely. We require a tank. I will have to craft it. Do I not have a tank on me? Oh, I might have put it down somewhere up here. No. No. No, I guess I don't have a tank. If I had a tank, then it's gone. I hope. I will take a Petrochem small inline tank. That will please me. Oh, that's not very small. It is sufficiently in line, though, I suppose. Um, 
Where was the device I was constructing? Whence? Crystallizers. I was back here further. I have ambled to the left. This is the curse of ambulation. Plants know where they are at all times. Fishies, you must immediately aggress. You have failed to aggress. The, the penalty is your own. Um, second overflow... ...goes straight into a clarifier. I don't have any cop- I don't have any copper? I don't have any copper! <laughs> uh. Is this nearly empty? No. It's kind of slowed down on the emptying even. It's still emptying, just not fast enough for me. From a 2020, I talked about reading guards. Guards from a 2022 perspective is quite relieving to see Vimes be quite anti-monarchist in a book written like in the 80s, maybe, possibly earlier. Hold on. Wikipedia, tell me. 1989. There we go. Now I could actually reactivate my mineralized water production if I wanted. I now have a more... ...cultured manor. Oh, for frick's sake, I do have four small inline tanks on me, I just didn't see them. <sighs> Heck, I don't even need this anymore. Simplify. Something funny to me about getting water in and clarifying it. I have my reasons. I do not need to add another water pump to the system anytime soon. Do you just not- oh yes, the trigger is on you. Do you not circuit network? I guess you don't. Mineralized water less than 1.5k enables you. Sure, that's a reasonably good trigger actually. What are you checking, though? Like, where on earth could you actually find a store of mineralized water? Oh, here. Literally right here. This tank with 16k mineralized water in it. I'm hooked up to all of this. Yeah, that's probably good. That system's good, I think. I think that system's good. So then why is it taking this so long to fill? There is no mineralized water in here. Oh, it's the overflow. Where is it going? 
Oh, the algae, the algae. The algae is powered by mineralized water. It's so easy to forget. Yeah, that looks like it's probably consuming most of it. The, the automated Marimo cutting up machines. you pull stuff out and you pull stuff out and you pull stuff out and this gets to run for a minute yay it all <laughs> trickles down no I don't think it does it took that long for that to cycle a little bit and now it's jammed up on um, aluminium ore but honestly I care less about that because I actually have a use for this. Okay, you make the stupid, annoying, daft green metal catalysts. I hate these things already. God, I can't wait to figure out a way to get them up and down from the friggin'... <sighs> Let's run it through here. This is a good idea. This is gonna be spaghetti. Um, if you're of a delicate sensibility regarding the spaghettification of factories, I suggest you avert your eyes. How am I out of problems? I'm gonna need a lot of these metal catalysts going to go to run back and forth, aren't I? Oh wait, no, that crafts 10 each time from 5 iron plates. Yeah. Okay. Oh wait, that would be the output. No, that should be the input based on the daft conventions of this factory at this bastard factory child of mine. Taking a little bit of psychic damage from doing this, not the worst not bad on the factorio scale at all, in fact, but I'm certainly not happy about it. Do not get that false impression. One day I want to be backed up on iron. That would please me. Copper? No, I mean, copper means nothing to me. I've never struggled for copper, but iron. Iron would be some kind of victory. <sighs> I can't believe that production of that storage might actually end up being a problem. That's kind of adorable, actually, in a dumb way. Um, dumb, awful conveyor belt, that's what I was doing.
dumb, awful, bad conveyor belt for idiots. You pick up there, drop there. <sighs> Is this gonna work? Is this route kind of free-ish? Yes? Yes, that could work. To my mild surprise, this could actually work. Surprise and disgust. I'm gonna have to make an automated system to flood it with, um, the metal catalyst carriers, aren't I? No, they're pretty cheap. I can just craft them by hand. The dumb little idiot things. How many of these am I going to need to get it up here? At least three. Ah, oh, everyone get cozy while I handcraft in it absolutely disgusting amount of stuff. One day I'll automate belts. One day soon. I don't suppose I could just sort of... No, that would be too much. That, of course that would be too much. <laughs> it was cute that you thought it wouldn't be too much, Barry. I'm getting a little bit uncomfortably pragmatic here. I don't like it one bit. And I... What I hate worse than that, actually, is the fact that it's totally the right decision. Sigh. Look at this disgusting thing. Look what I've done to myself. And all those belts I crafted just, 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 just the right number. Okay, you're the return, and you are the catalyst out. out. Why am I not getting any catalysts out on my catalyst out device thingy? Oh, I'm holding them all. That's why. Time to go make some dumb friggin' ammonia. Time to go consume all our iron instantly in one really dumb move. I love you basic transport pelts. Middle catalyst return. Middle catalyst output. Yeah, I really need to automate belts.
I love this friggin' factory. <laughs> I love C-Block because whenever I try and hold the entirety of how this thing works in my head, I get a headache instantly. We got some systems happening here. I'm gonna set up the ammonia, pr ammonia production like down here and force myself to redo it later. Never. I'm never going to do that. Here's a hint. Later never happens. If you say you're going to do something later, you mean you're going to do it never. Okay, let's run in circles while I craft an enormous amount of conveyor belt. Actually, you know what I can do is I can expand the factory to the left and run immediately into wormy worms. God, I can't wait to hit the wormy worms. Sorry, fishies. I have decided that I must be callous about the environment these days. It's just economic realities, you understand. Oh, the wormies are angry. That worm is pissed. I need that sniper rifle. Like, <laughs> somewhat urgently. I feel like I'm looking at a spaceship outline taking the entire thing in at once. It's even sufficiently greebled with devices. Like, we got the bridge. <sighs> I don't know. I'm just reminded of, like, Halo ships, you know? Which are always big and stocky in a really cool way. Okay, let's continue the, um... The spinning. Whenever I read someone type, mmm, Greebel, I always imagine it in a Homer Simpson voice. Mmm, Greebel. <laughs> and then he, and then he needs the live dribbles out of his mouth. <laughs> See, that was easy. I don't get what you were talking about, Barry. There's no complexity in the C block. I have not left myself space to work this underground. I guess I'll have to do it here. Sure, why not? There we go. I would like to be able to walk around this stuff. That would be nice. I need more iron. <sighs> the three stacks of iron I picked up weren't enough. Yeah, that checks out. Oh, my poor iron production trying to keep up with a hungry berry. I am glad I built this right to left road. 
and made one of my principles to trying to keep it clear as much as possible. It is not very clear, however, it could also be so much worse. Okay. It seems our algae production is doing just fine. This is reassuring. Sort of. I'm sure I'll be able to upgrade it later if it's a problem. Oh, it's talking about getting ammonia from it. Oh, that's just a liquefier. That's nice and easy. Okay, I was talking about doing it, like, down here. Let's, um, follow through on that, because yikes at all of this. Hold on, ammonia gas? Just cellulose fiber, no liquid inputs. Okay. Yeah, that'll do. You make ammonia. I need more balps. Again. Wait, I don't have any wood. How do I not have wood? This is an this is illegal and unethical. Mm -mm. We got a little bit of oil residuals that I need to pick up. There we go. Did I ever figure out what to do with them? I don't think I did. They just live with me now. Blue Marimo. Hold on. You must be lined up. It is mandatory. Now, start cellulose, not algae. <coughs> some algae. There we go. Nice and easy. Okay, that's not actually any guarantee to line up. I may as well just put it however I want. Marimo slicing machine. Pick up, drop, power. Make me ammonia. Or I could synthesize ammonia from hydrogen, nitrogen, and red metal catalyst, but I think I like the idea of making it from algae more. ammonia and carbon dioxide. 
in a chem plant. That is quite frankly horrifyingly easy. I may have carbon dioxide. I do have carbon dioxide here in this line. Oh, that's just beautiful, actually. Okay, I don't need that one. Please just give me some regular pipes now. Kim plant, you make... Um... Nope. Wait, you can just make methanol out of cellulose fiber? Eh? Oh, I wish I'd realized that recipe existed earlier. I could have been making plastic out of algae this whole time. Damn it. Whatever. Now I've got a nice algae set up, I guess. Okay. Um, something, something, Urea. I won't mind having both, I guess. Diversity is strength, especially in C block. This is not at all a joke. And especially in fluid processing, because oh my god, have you seen the fluid processing in this? Well, to some degree, the only cellulose production I have is here, and as part of my power system, which I don't really want to tap into for pretty straightforward reasons. And I'm already not quite getting enough mineralized water. Okay, that's the urea done. The next step is um, the thing that used the green metal catalyst and methanol. I might actually totally make methanol out of stuff, but I'll pipe the liquid back because the liquid's easier to move around long distance. Bigly. Oh, these green metal catalysts are pretty powerful. Okay, formaldehyde from methanol gas in chemical plant. Which I can't afford because I don't have enough basic circuits. I'm totally going to have to have an add another belp for um, methanol to the top. Of course I am. Belp, um, pipe. Because I'm pretty sure I'm overproducing. Like this. Filter. You only let cellulose fiber through. And now we make one chemical plant immediately. Because they will be running the methanol production back immediately. Oh, this screws up the scalability of this, that's a pity. However, I think that methanol production is a higher priority at the moment. And it doesn't screw it, it's not like it screws it up too bad.
I'm sure I'll find a use for that alkenic acid. Pick up there, drop there. You make methanol out of cellulose fiber. Wait, can I just do that in a liquefier? I wouldn't mind having a spare liquefier on me if I can't. But it, it does seem like a liquefier recipe. I can't help but notice on account of it having one solid input and one fluid output. Yep, there we go. Hot diggity daffodils, as they say in French. They, um, they don't say that in French. They should. I'm building my own better version of French. Okay, time to add methanol to the list of... I'll be back in just a minute. I'm going to say goodnight to family and get ready for bed myself. will be just a couple of minutes. Actually, I'm getting a bit tired. I might call the stream here. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Um, let's have a look and see if we can find someone to read. Oh, shoot, Nova's streaming. Perfect. Ye we go. Bye-bye. I love you.